Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to have them get up and um, I'll have Cassie make some tofu tacos. Oh, those sounds really delicious. And then Savannah, I'm gonna have Savannah do the laundry. As you see, we have a full basket. I'm gonna fill up the basket once more and kind of get that done. I know Cassie, you're very, very hungry. Do I not have any? I don't have it. This reward in my inventory. I really wanted to just display it somewhere, maybe on the table. I guess we don't really sit there anyway. We can always just, there we go. I really wanted to display that, but I guess it's just taking up all the necessary space, like the only space we have in the house. So my God, uh -huh. stay up to 6 a.m. That's why we just stayed in bed for so long. Cassie wanted to hear all the juicy details. Oh, what the heck? Did you just see that? That That is so weird, anyway. <clears throat> Yeah, she stayed up waiting for her friend, just only to hear all the juicy details. And of course, she's not like Savannah, so nothing juicy really happened besides this little kiss that they share together. They like woohoo, anything. It's typical Savannah stuff, Cassie just doesn't do. So it's, um, it might be a little disappointing for um, Savannah to hear, but at the same time, she's really happy for her friend. Made her realize just how much she misses that, like, first, I don't know, first stages kind of thing. Being and going out and. Getting flowers, she loves that. But with Don, uh, Don is not that kind of guy, okay? He wants to whoop. He wants to whoop whoop. <laughs> and he wants it fast. He does not really, he's not, well, he's not one for the romantic stuff. So we're never even going to bother. Also, before it glitches out once more, we did get uh, another. Please tell me it's still here. Please tell me it's still here. Are you telling me it's already gone? Oh my god. A large company wants to promote their brand on her Instagram page for 2500 which is like a lot of money. Click on Road to Fame Instagram and select Promote Brand. So it should be there unless... Yeah, no, it's not here anymore. Once again, we waited way too long. Take a, th take a thirst trap selfie. Now, I don't know what that is. It's definitely not a promotion, but I mean, something else I really want to do, and that is hold a meet and greet. So Savannah's been planning this behind Cassie's back for the past, I would say, past couple of days. And she really wants to go ahead and meet her fans, kind of get face to face with her little, you know, you know, her stalkers. She really wants to meet this one person in particular that she knows if it keeps on sending the gifts, it's going to be there. And I'm not saying it's a guy, but she kind of thinks it's a guy. Uh, we actually got another gift, which I'm going to show you guys. We got this fridge, and this fridge is 10k. It matches her interior so perfect that I'm just going to keep it. And then I also have another like microphone that I just sold because really there's no need for us to really have that. Can you not just sit down perhaps with your food? You don't need to stand. You know, you have all this money, so you might as well just sit down. I can share it with the whole... Why? Did she, did she just like post a nude or something? Savannah, girl that maybe not that's a little too much for my liking a girl um hmm. i don't know what to say about that i did not expect savannah just to throw like her body on the internet i'm not saying it's a nude but you know thirst trapping it kind of sounds like sharing nudes so i'm not you know no. salem is calling but um we kind of promised savannah that we'd be spend some time with her especially after you know going out all night yesterday and uh leaving her all by herself just to spare just send some nudes online so we're just gonna stay home for now and hopefully uh we're gonna get another one of those um promotion offers like every time i record and i pause it it's just like there and then i come back to check and it's gone i'm like no it's been like talking it's not working today i apologize so much okay just so you guys know it's not working today we all have those days and today is one of those days where it's just not working it just it just doesn't work okay it's it's just not happening i try it just it's just not happening i have much more outfits for savannah than for cassie by the way i think you know she loves pink and i think this outfit just represents savannah on to the finest details meet and greet now this is something uh, that's new for me too so i'm really excited to think to think to figure out what this actually does so savannah goes over here you know starts arranging the meet and greet cassie's kind of like what is going on girl what are you doing on that phone and this is the moment where she tells her friend hey girl we are going to change our lives today we are going to have a meet and greet and oh my god we're not gonna have it are we having it in our house? I I swear to God, I really hope I don't. Shoot. Okay, we made the biggest error in our damn lives. We actually have a meet and greet in our own house. Now, 
Cassie, first of all, is freaking out. Literally, we just got our act together and now there's a possibility of us having to move because Savannah gave up our freaking address. How could she be this dumb? Savannah, how could you be this dumb? Oh, where I live. And if there's any crazy fan out here that just wants to harm us, oh my god, like, are you, are you serious? Are you serious? Please. Little bitches being on their phones and all that. Okay, really now? Savannah, for now, can really not show that she is having some second doubts whether or not this is a good idea. And I'm just noticing one thing, and it's mostly of her fans. I'm honestly not even kidding are old okay i'm not saying like that is a bad thing but i'm just saying that a lot of people are older and it seems like savannah is really popular with like a lot of girls and boys i know there's like a lot of random generated townies which is kind of funny because i would i would have loved to see like mortimer goth just being total fan for savannah um but it seems like a lot of these people are older and savannah's kind of like Take them back a little, like, these people are here for me, like, older people, like, why do I attract not, like, some hot smoking dude? I'm like, she's loving it. Cassie's like, I don't, I don't want to be here. Give this fan a kiss on the cheek, because first of all, this boy is a teenager. Got done doing the 500 simoleons interview, and honestly, that is a lot of money. We're now gonna give this fan a kiss on the cheek. Honestly, like, I would not kiss anyone on the lips, but... You know, we're, we're adventurous. This is our first meet and greet. We want to be nice. This is the worst scenario ever. Every time I record, they start drilling and hammering. Like, come on. This is going to be for the entire week. Like, this is why I need to apologize. I'm so sorry. I have to literally, like, cut and record and cut and record. But honestly, when you live in an apartment, when your neighbors are doing shit, you can't really go around it. Honestly, really wants to put down a good image for herself. So she's answering all questions, striking a pose, doing everything to please the paparazzi. Well, Savannah here, I mean, Cassie here is just singing a song, trying to entertain everyone, just kind of preventing things from escalating. Oh my god, we just gained 5 million Instagram followers. Oh my gosh. Savannah has reached a new phase for trend. Whatever Savannah does, the crowd seems to follow. Fans of Paparazzi will now approach her celebrity sim wherever they are. Watch out for obsessed fans. They will do anything. Oh my god. I I love how Cassie's just in the midst of just trying to keep everyone together. I want her friend to be alone with all these crazy people. But honestly, she is shook. She gained so much popularity right now. And it scares her. It scares Cassie because she just revealed her flipping address. Now fans will come to her door every damn second of the day. And who's going to protect her from any crazy fan? This scares her so much. Savannah doesn't seem to really fully grasp this. I've never seen so many moodlets. Recognition. We got recognition. Instagram famous. Boosting confidence among fans. Entertainment. Exclusive interview. Generous fans. Loving the fans. Moving up. Decorated. And then a new friend. And feeling insecure. Well, I would feel insecure as well if I was surrounded by that many people. Like, seriously. In the midst of hugging this guy. It looks like he's holding on for dear life. Oh my god, I need a picture of this. Now Cass is getting really worried. She's hugging and touching her fans and she really likes this particular dude in a, in a general and she's been like hugging him and giving him some kisses. She feels amazing. But the problem is, is that Cassie sees this problem, I mean Cassie sees problems that Savannah doesn't, is that as soon as she starts to get fame and be famous and known and seen as someone who meets up with fans and just kisses them that this is what's going to be her new image people are gonna see her as that easy girl it just look how much people with cameras are here that are just here to get like her you know you know son whoa we just oh the vanash is getting recognized left and right with all this fame just everybody ever a little bit with all this fame she has everyone Everybody wants to be your friend and someone even more than a friendship. Are you serious right now? Like, she is feeling herself. Look at that face. I need more pictures. Honestly, think this fame is kind of blowing to Savannah's mind once again. Ooh. 
who is this dude? Now this is an obsessed fan, but honestly, he looks cute. So this is something that Cassie already feared would happen. We are getting an obsessed fan who wants his body all over Savannah. And I, I'm honestly not even kidding. Like she looks, she looks, he looks good. Okay, he looks really cute and I would date him, but he just literally tries to get into her pants on the spot. Obviously, obviously that kind of frightens Savannah. I'm trying to just please everyone and she, even the obsessed fan, she's just trying to, what the heck? Is he peeing? Are you kidding me? This is going, getting out of control. Cassie, however, has been here to support her friend for once. She is so done with this. She's gonna come over here and protect her friend. Yes, she is. And she's gonna come over here and start drama with Jermaine. With Jermaine Huerta. And Cassie here is the one who's gonna have to find him away because Cass Savannah is just feeling rather upset right now. She has feels like she totally does control over the entire situation as much as she's smiling there she's probably dying on the inside like you need to put on some pants put your wheelie back between your butt cheeks and leave because you are honestly we're gonna have all the fans leave what is this that is a glowing piece of pine. Oh, I've never seen anything like that. One away and we got, ooh, okay, finally. Okay, we got an offer as well, which I know it's not really the time for this, but oh my, that's, that, that, that makes a nice picture, like literally like a picture of Savannah and a naked dude like behind her, seriously. We got a pro, uh, like a promote, uh, probably an offer to promote. So we are gonna come on here and promote this digital book back upstairs. And we got some things to, car. we're gonna stomp on that. We need to clean this up. I'm feeling kind of scared. I did not expect things to go like this. Look, ooh, look at that little rose. Now, I actually like that. Let me let me put this rose over here. What is this? A death flower. A spooky yet elegant blossom. Roses just don't cut it for the Grim Reaper. Try this flower to calm his qualms and get out of a deadly situation. Why did someone give us this though? I'm not even right. I'm not even sure, but it's not ours to really take anyway. Well, it's, it's, it's ours to take, so I might as well just put it in my inventory in case I die, I guess. Like, I'm not sure. Savannah broke the rule of exposing, first of all, exposing where she lives. Showing inappropriate behavior with fans and now letting obsessed fans come into her house streak for her like shoulder the balls like honestly How could you just have invited them inside her house like I don't understand Cassie is literally preparing for the worst saying oh you never ever do this again Seriously never ever and I know we there are services we can hire like a bodyguard um, assistants you know stuff like that which savannah did not think about at that time and now we're kind of telling her like what and how like we just literally protected her despite that it wasn't you know like it could have gone really wrong but luckily he kind of got us startled by the fact that we like you know like we uh this little girl here with with her little french braid and what if they come back to our apartment now? What if they tell everyone where we live? Like our address is literally in the media and now we are kind of forced to, well, move out. I honestly just came into this apartment and I really did not want to leave. I just got all these stuff and now potentially we have to move out again. Savannah's telling Cassie that it'll be fine. Nothing like that will happen, but Cassie's honestly kind of almost afraid to stay over um, and sleep her tonight because of everything that happened. Vince, like, this is, this is what she wants, this is fun. I see the consequences quite yet, and I'm, I'm just saying, I think that's the adrenaline. I think in the deep on the inside, she may be, what am I doing? She may be just, just about scared as well, or just frightened, or just startled. I don't know, one of these things, explain to Dawn, like, what the hell was going on, because I don't really want to be seen as a cheater. Not that we convinced him to leave his spouse, like, honestly. Cassie, however, is going to talk to, um, to the text to Salem, kind of wondering if it's okay for her to, um, stay over. But she's also going to send one to Miko, because she's not sure which of the two she prefer to stay with, that we know, like, honestly. Uh, apparently I'm gonna praise the kitties because that makes me feel better. Giving kitties some love makes me feel so much better. Like, oh my god. I, I cannot even foresee the trouble that this is gonna bring, but that is all for another part. I'm gonna get ready to go to Miko and stay there for the night. I really don't want to be here right now. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna see you guys in the next part. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.